Ag Day Weather, brought to you by One Herbicide Can't Do It All. One Herbicide Portfolio Can. BASF Advanced Weed Control for growers from BASF, the chemical company. Welcome back to Ag Day. So, uh, Mike, this system continues to move off to the east, but we've, we've got another one forming out in the Pacific Northwest. Yes, we do, and that will be moving into the Northern Plains uh, in about two or three days. So, yeah, it's, it just seems like one system after another. Now, the one moving through the east, not nearly as wet as the one in the middle of last week, but nonetheless, it has uh, put down a half inch to one inch in most of the Corn Belt as it moved through. That will continue to uh, push eastward toward the eastern seaboard, causing those showers to finally move offshore. Now, the low-pressure system diving through the Great Lakes is very weak, so it won't be producing too much, but it'll be producing some uh, scattered rain and snow showers across parts of the Great Lakes. Next system has lots of moisture with it. Obviously, as they typically do, it starts to dry off a little bit as it comes east of the uh, Rockies, but you can see it continues to move eastward as we head toward tomorrow morning, and then that will start to produce some uh, rain and snow out ahead of the uh, Warm front the way it looks across parts of the uh, Dakotas into southwestern Minnesota. So not a whole lot of moisture coming out initially with that system, but it will continue to move uh, eastward. And you can see that will spread some more snow in parts of northern Minnesota, the UP of Michigan, northern Wisconsin as well. Let's take a look at things then as far as uh, moist <coughs> excuse me, moisture is concerned. You can see uh, the areas of rain have uh, lightened up a little bit over the past 24 hours, but still some decent amounts, half inch to one inch amounts there. Adding on the next 24 to 36 hours, you can see we don't add a whole lot to the northeast, so that system definitely is putting down less rain than it has been. Moisture across the north in the form of uh, rain and snow, and a lot of moisture coming into western Washington and other parts of the uh, higher elevations in the Pacific Northwest, and of course that's going to be mainly in the form of snow, lots of snow in some of the higher elevations of Idaho, Montana, and northwestern Wyoming. Light snows and across parts of the western Great Lakes, northern Minnesota. Looking at temperatures this afternoon, lots of 30s and 40s, the Great Lakes, 50s down to the Ohio River Valley, so chillier air coming in behind this system. 70s and 80s come fine to the far southeast and the far southwest, as you can see, so it really is fairly chilly from coast to coast. Lows tonight, 20s and 30s across a good chunk of the Corn Belt there, 50s, low 50s all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. So this is some pretty chilly air, but the sunshine will help you out 60s uh, once again during the afternoon tomorrow, but still 30s and 40s, Great Lakes and in the Northeast, so it continues chilly. That's because of this uh, trough, and you can see that moving through the Great Lakes into the Northeast. Another little system kind of diving through there, and then we see another trough trying to come into the Northeast. So kind of an interesting situation with a cutoff showing up here on our long range computer models by later next week. That's a look across the country. Now let's take a look at some local forecasts. For Glasgow, Montana, not as cold with clouds and sunshine. High temperature around 43 degrees. Pine Bluff, Arkansas, mostly sunny and pleasant. The afternoon high of 62. And finally, Cambridge, Ohio, partly sunny, breezy and chillier. The high temperature 49.